Quartervors, the uncrewed hypersonic test aircraft project from aviation startup Hermes, has completed ground testing in its dynamic iron bird form, a ground-based test rig used to prove various systems and their integration. The milestone comes as Hermes works toward a planned first flight before the end of this year. Hermes announced today that it had finished test work involving its dynamic iron bird, also known as Quarter Horse MiG-0, which it describes as its first fully integrated vehicle. This non-flying prototype was used for validating all major aircraft subsystems in a real-world environment. An accompanying video shows different portions of the construction phase as well as the MiG-0 rolling down the runway during tests. The MiG-0 is the first of four aircraft planned for the Quarter Horse program, which Hermes says will eventually yield a vehicle capable of beating the SR-71's absolute speed record for an air-breathing crewed aircraft. 2,193.2 miles per hour, achieved on July 28, 1976. Bearing in mind that the Quarter Horse is uncrewed, the idea of beating that long-standing record is not entirely accurate. Beyond that, Hermes aspires to have Quarter Horse reach hypersonic speeds, typically considered anything above Mach 5. The company says it designed and built the Quarter Horse MiG-0 in just six months, and that all its test objectives were completed in 37 days of testing. Among the objectives completed were demonstrating remote command and control taxi, evaluating radio frequency, RF, latency and ground handling qualities of the integrated systems, demonstrating proper state of the vehicle and flight deck during lost link, and demonstrating human factor evaluations and pilot in the loop steering and controls. The testing took place at the Air Force's Arnold Engineering Development Complex, AEDC, in Tullahoma, Tennessee. Hermes chose to do the testing here since it allowed the team to interface directly with Air Force range and regulatory authorities. This was the first time our flight test team had an opportunity to work in a deployed test campaign with external stakeholders, said Hermes Vice President of Test, Don Caterbeck. The more the team works together and establishes their battle rhythm, the smoother flight testing will go. Leveraging rapid and iterative design is how Hermes will accelerate aircraft development on timelines that are relevant to our customers, added Hermes CEO and co-founder AJ Piplica. Test campaigns measured in days instead of months or years represent the pace required to mature hypersonic technology and field transformative aircraft. The company plans to incrementally increase the complexity of the four aircraft as the program progresses. After MiG-0 comes the first flight vehicle, Quarter Horse MiG-1, now under construction and scheduled to fly in 2024. The MiG-1 will be used for remote takeoff and landing trials and is not apparently planned to trial high-speed flight. This will be the domain of the subsequent Quarter Horse MiG-2, intended to reach supersonic speeds below Mach 3. Finally, Quarter Horse MiG-4 will hit speeds beyond Mach 3 and, as Hermit states, demonstrate turbojet to ramjet mode transition in flight and break the all-time airspeed record held by the SR-71. An aircraft build as a prototype was previously rolled out in November 2021. It remains not entirely clear if that prototype at least intended at some point for flight, although the latest wording suggests that the MiG-1 is still being built. The aircraft shown in November 2021 lacked a rudder, and there were no other obvious flight control surfaces. It also appeared to lack any sort of landing gear. Nevertheless, the plane fired up its engines during the launch ceremony and set them to full afterburner, as seen in the video. This was, however, not the first time that Hermes had conducted a ground test of the engine used by Quartervorce, a so-called turbine-based combined cycle, TBCC, design. A TBCC engine combines a ramjet or scramjet, optimized for very high speeds, with a more traditional jet turbine, which can be used for takeoff, landing, and other lower speed portions of flight. The conventional turbine portion of Hermes TBCC is a General Electric J85 turbojet, as used in the Air Force's T-38 Talon jet trainer, among others. Having the MiG-0 test campaign run out of the AEDC is also no coincidence bearing in mind the involvement of the Air Force in the wider quarter-horse program.
In August 2021, the company announced that it had secured some $60 million in funding from the Air Force and venture capital firms to support the Quarter Horse Flight Test Program. Ostensibly, the Air Force invested in Hermes as part of a broader effort to explore potential future hypersonic and supersonic executive transport aircraft concepts. Clearly, however, there is potential for the various technologies involved to be used in other applications. In the past, Hermes has talked about the potential of leveraging its technologies for military missions, including the transport of time-critical cargo and reconnaissance. In these cases, a mid-sized autonomous aircraft would be planned, which would follow on from the current Quarter Horse project. Notably, the U.S. military has repeatedly looked at options for rapidly delivering military cargo around the globe, and there have been persistent references made to a potential future hypersonic and strike reconnaissance aircraft. Even acting as a testbed for hypersonic technologies or as a surrogate hypersonic target could be military-related missions for a reusable high-speed aircraft like Hermes Creation. Aside from the military potential of designs like this, Hermes has said that its quarter horse program is primarily aimed at commercial markets, with the promise of the fastest reusable aircraft in the world. If quarter horse proves successful, Hermes has said it hopes to embark on a larger passenger airliner of the kind that could whisk paying passengers across the Atlantic. This kind of Son of Concord concept has been something of a holy grail ever since the retirement of that classic design. So far, however, it has failed to yield any practical hardware. Obviously, there are significant challenges ahead, but it will be fascinating to see whether Hermes manages to buck that trend. If it does, and if it eventually fields a reusable hypersonic aircraft, the U.S. military will certainly be paying very close attention.